Okay. This is such a large map. Can we really figure out where the cube is at the start? Looking at people with lethal. I cannot. But if I had to, I would say it's over there. Far from all of us. Let's look at the ground over here. DYR. I am but a salty main survivor who is trying to look at the game from a different perspective. Where the F should I begin while playing killer? Have fun. And don't try to bleach the other side. It's too difficult. Alright, well. It worked. Bit anywhere. And now the cube spawns again, and we can also guess what it. Wow. Okay. Righty, 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 right. Will we find the box from the get go? Let's see. One, two, three. The box is over there. Probably right at the end of that. Yeah, yeah, you can do this consistently. Not every map, not every match, but you can do it. Ooh, run and field should be hard to find the cube, right? Let's see if we can do it three times in a row. Dude, I don't even see them, bro. Okay, cube is right over here, right over there. Should be here somewhere. On it. <laughs> Bye, Meg. <laughs> Bye, Meg. All right. Good early game. Uh, but I still have much to learn. Right, so how to find the cube. Every time the cube First of all, you need to understand when the cube spawns. It's at the start of the game. If you touch the cube, then it respawns almost immediately. If they do the cube, it takes a few seconds. You hear a sound cue across the map, then it spawns. So the logic it uses is it pretty much finds every single spot where a survivor or a killer can spawn. It's very similar, apparently, to bear traps. Uh, just every tiny little spot that could be it. Basically, the game finds it. And then it gives every one of these spots a ranking. Uh, a set of points. And this is how the points work. And this is the important part. The killer has a 40 meter radius where, this is about 40 meters, where every point like this, 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 etc., gets a minus 15,000 points. So a negative 15. And every survivor gets a 60 meter radius where every uh, spawn point, sorry, it's a bit awkward. Every um, every uh, spawn point gets a minus 5,000 points. So what this translates to, realistically, is that... Let's say the survivors are all here. What? Then you as a killer need to identify when the box spawns that it will now be concentrated in this area. So if you do, if you just do a little sweep around here, you should find it more or less easily. Don't forget that if you don't see it visually, you might hear its little zapping sound. If you happen to see a survivor walk through this path with barbecue, lethal pursuer, what have you, then that's giving you a good idea that yeah, it's here, they see it, they're going for it, interrupted. And if you have Franklin's Hoarder, that will only make it easier and easier to, to harass the box out of their hands. And remember, when the box is... Um, when you take it from the survivors, it keeps the chain hunt going and resets it immediately. So they need to, at that point, 10 seconds later, when it respawns or whatever, the whole thing um, happens again. So that's how it works, basically. Now, how that exactly 
how you do that exactly in like big maps or, or maps with indoor floors, like it has to be hard as fuck, but yeah. Okay. Right, 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 right. Buy box. One, two, three. The box should be there. Should be here somewhere. Yes! Yes, you really can figure it out, huh? Alright, hopefully no one disconnects. And we actually get a chance to... <clears throat> well, sorry guys. My cheats are secret. Uh, we'll hopefully get a chance to um, see what the game is like once you do this. Wow, she really didn't do that. That was insane, dude. That was such a close one. And she just ignored that. I can't say exactly where the cube will be. I think it will be in that corner. Exactly. This kind of blows, though. Is that hard? Why wouldn't you? Ugh, damn it. That's my fault. Damn it. That's my fault. And it blows that I have to admit it, but... This killer is so bloody, the football dude. Come on. What are you guys doing with the catch on? That should be a good chain, though. Sorry, but yeah, like, if anything... If anything, uh, assume that Dead Heart is base good on every survivor. Because it kind of is, Lilo. Oh, her name is Kajam. <laughs> okay, that makes a bit more sense. I was a bit confused, old, if I'm honest. Oh, this kill's not in the best spot ever, though. Surprised she didn't that far. <laughs> you don't need to. You don't need to. If she vaulted again, that would have been blocked, right? That's gonna be annoying. There you go. That should stop the dead heart quick. Nice. Uh, halfway through a new chain hunt. Considering that we have Karab, we've done good enough. And we're very lucky that they're opening chests and whatnot. Not sure how useful that really was, but. Oh well. I'm not gonna lie, I don't understand where that girl went. I do not understand that. What the hell? Wow. Damn, LOD. Damn! I should have just not changed you at all. That would have been better. My flashy. Okay. This is a good spot, I reckon. Box, where were you? Where is the box? Is that girl giving us a subtle hint? Let's look back and see if she's still there. Yeah, she might be coming for it or something. Yeah, she is indeed coming for it. Nice, bros. You know what that means. Useful. DS. Still on her? No. Alright, they were pretty far, and they'll be harassed by the chain, so one of them needs to heal, one of them needs to go for the box, and some of them need to come for their eventual rescue here. Powerful stuff, right? But yeah, with this killer, you need to have a bit of the pig mentality. Understand that they have a second objective, and that their movements can sometimes give it away. So if you see a survivor walk towards a jigsaw box, you're like, yeah, well, that must be their last jigsaw box. Let's stop that. And if you see a survivor walk towards a corner, it makes no sense. Maybe that's what's happening. Oh, well, now we'll control this middle, and I think they're in, I think they're in serious trouble. Don't forget that hard, though. Nah, nah, we defend this. Make a move, punks. Ah! 
and we should see Ace run in front of us in two seconds. There he is. Jesus wept. Alright, go get him then. Sure, alright. We'll give him a chance. Oh. Are these trick games? No, no, I'm only trying to... I'm only trying to get better. Um, at this killer. And understanding different builds and whatnot. As you could see, we actually could somewhat accurately pinpoint where the cube would spawn. Thanks to Lethal Pursuer. Which is pretty pog, if you ask me. Don't you think it's pretty pog? I think it's pog. Pinhead OP? Where would you rate him? Um, my tier list not too long ago. Uh, let's go over it in my mind. S tier is Nurse, Spirit, Blight. A tier is Hag, Oni, Huntress, Pyramid Head, Plague. B tier is uh, Twins, in no particular order. Um, don't mind me. Uh, twins, Shitty, Deathlinger Man. Um, um, cannibal, a Demogorgon, and so on. So the next tier below that, I think, would be would be the one for Pinhead. I don't think he gets any higher, quite honestly. Perhaps a really, really insane Pinhead would know exactly when to use his power and minimize the downsides, and would constantly, constantly have a computational, like, brain to figure out where the cube keeps respawning. Because we did that a little bit, and yeah, it seems strong. And you never know, maybe if you're so good at doing it, you don't need Franklin's, you don't need, um... Uh, Horder. Yeah. So... Who knows? Maybe he can be better. Why do you lower twins from A to B? I think the current meta hurts them. And they also feel horribly, horribly sluggish. Do I don't know Yeah. Uh, also, uh, I mean, things around the twins have been nerfed slightly, so I think they're a bit weaker than before. Things that don't affect killers like nerves affect them more directly. What does pog mean? I don't know. I've been saying that word for a long time now. The kids seem to understand it. Oh, hey, lovely. That's satisfying to look at. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Great progress, zero. Oh, because we're out of the right? One, right. So what do I mean by the current meta? I mean this. Watching the stream while doing my math homework. Oh, puck. Can you help me with my piecewise functions? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. I'm known to be extremely knowledgeable in that. I mean, I don't want to make other people feel uncomfortable. So after the stream. Yeah, so you have a dead heart, a dead heart, a dead heart. This guy's got a head on archive or otherwise dead heart. DS, DS, DS. Unbreakable, unbreakable with DS. It's difficult to slug. It's difficult to commit. People have med kits. I think it's hard to play twins these days, much more so than before. They have gotten better, at least at high MMR, they have gotten better at dealing with ruin and dying, in my experience. So one of your strongest set of perks is now difficult to use on twins. But I'm sure you can adapt. Oh well. <laughs> 